Now that we've created the UI, we need to have a place to store the data. So we will create a data resource. For this project, it will be on device storage, but most projects would use a database or SAP backend. In the data tab, we create a new on device storage called to do's and then add fields for the title, a true false field for whether it is completed, and that's it. At this point, we can also set up the variables we need for storing temporary data and for storing data retrieved from the data resource. We go back to the UI canvas and click variables. And here we have different types of variables we can create. Most temporary variables will be page variables, which exist for the current page only. We create a variable for storing what the user types for the task title, and a variable for indicating that the user clicked the new task button. The data resource we created before only defines the connection to the data, but we need a place to store the data. That's what data variables are for. All data variables are designed for a specific data resource, so we create a data variable based on our to-dos resource. That's all we need to do. By default, we get some logic for retrieving the data when the page loads, but we want to trigger this in many places, so we will copy it to the main app logic canvas. Here, we will attach it to the page mount event, like before, but also create our own event so we can trigger this logic and retrieve data at any time. We drag a receive event flow function, set it to be triggered by a custom event, and then name our event. Finally, we connect to the logic we want to run when this event gets triggered. More on logic in the next videos.